Okay, hello dear friends. This one I will make an origami, origami crane. So first you will do, this is a hot dog shape. Open it up. Do another hot dog. Do two hot dogs. Okay. Is that difficult? Some students find it difficult. If you find it difficult, I really cannot explain even anymore. Anyway, after two hot dogs, on the same direction, you will see the same color of the hot dog. Now you will open it up, turn it over, and now you make another color of uh, tacos. So origami is all about symmetric. So once you do um, it has to be up, down, up, down, up, down, if you see here. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. How do you make this up, down? Is by turning over the page so that it falls, shows up differently, right? So now we will twist it in, twist it in. Now you can see, twist into such a shape. How can I do it? Turn it a little bit. This one does not fix into one flat shape. So what do we do? Flat a little bit, flat a little bit. Now it, now it becomes a smaller square. Here you have one point, here you have four points, right? Do not fold here, do not fold there. Do not fold on the one point, fold starting from the four point part, okay? So fold right into the middle. Origami is all about symmetric, right? You have fold here, then you need to do the other four. Facing it to the other side. So it's a symmetric, right? Turn it over for this side. One and two. Now here is a straight flat line. Fold it a little bit. It's just to soften the paper. On one side, turn it over. On the other side. Why? You want to open up this uh, this paper. Open it up. And this is not easy. So put your hand here. Because the paper, once you fold in one side, slightly or lightly touch it, you can find the other direction. You can find the line for the other direction. The paper. When you do it right, do it neat, the paper finds its own way and the paper listen to you. Okay. So here is not comfortable, you can see not comfortable. Use your finger to make sure every part, every corner is just right. You can see you can flat it down. And when you do it right, the paper is very understanding. And they do a good job at following you. And they do a better job than you think they will. So, so now we have two parts, two legs, and on top, no separation. On the bottom, there are two legs. At this part, you fold in one time. To the center. When you fold one, you need to fold the other four, right? One, two, it's not so easy to do it, but you can do it. Two, turn it over, three, Four. 
okay now we are good we are good to go now you need to lift it these two up and you just lift this up it's not right because you want to lift up from the center you can do like this lift up like this folding into the right uh, right angle you like same thing here open it up a little bit and lift it up not that difficult if you do it right you will find things are much easier than you think it should be okay make sure it is the right angle now use your hand use your fingernail to make it this is right now we will press down to make the hand not too low this is good and here you have the two wings flat down one two this is a beautiful origami you can Stretch a little bit so the bottom part, the, 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 the top part is a little bit uh, flattened. This is one way. Like this, it's one way of doing it. Or you do not flat it up because maybe you want to uh, put a string on top. This is also good. Two ways of doing it. This is for honey. An origami crane. This is not flappy bird and it cannot flap. Origami crane. Okay. 